Hello, welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be an Aries monthly February 2024 tarot reading for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And let's see what energies we have for this upcoming month of February 2024 for the sign of Aries. These are general energies. If you're interested, there are weekly money and career readings and yearly money and career readings up for each sign. If you wanted to look, take a look at those, let's see what energies we have. I have some oracle cards here. This is the Secret Garden Oracle deck. Let's see what energies we have coming up for this month of February 2024 for the sign of Aries. Wish. Beautiful. Wish. Make a wish, Aries. Make a wish. <clears throat> Let's see. Number 29. Wish. Beautiful card. Let's see what we have here. Remember when you were thrilled to pick a dandelion and make a wish? Blow on it and make a wish. Sending the seeds off that wish all over the yard. Wishing is a vital part of the creative process and the key to making dreams come true. Don't let yourself get jaded from not having. Don't shrink for a world that tells you to work hard, be practical, and keep your expectations low. Only by allowing yourself to wish with a full heart can you send the seeds off your dream out into the world's yard where they may take root. Now follow them on the breeze and tend those dream flowers. Your passion and willingness to dream and do creates new gardens for the world and your own soul. Make a wish, Aries, make a wish. All right, let's get started here. Aries, February 2024, general reading, general energies. Beautiful card, beautiful card. What are you wishing for, Aries? What are you desiring? What do you want to create? What do you want to make happen? Look at that. Double wish, the star. Double wish, Aries. Keep it going. You have the star believing in yourself, but also healing, healing, healing past wounds, or even the past situations that have been difficult, mending, talking, talking with your heart, opening your heart. The, the, the heart is the calm after the storm, but sort of entering a protection area, a moment of peace, serene peace and inspiration. It's opening the doors to imagination, to creation, to create your next career, to create your next path, protecting yourself long term in a certain harmony with the right people, right? The star is all about finding, hmm, finding generosity, finding peace, connecting with those people, most of all, opening your heart and believing in yourself, Aries, whatever it is that you're trying to make happen, right? You're at the moment, maybe realizing who you really are beneath right at your core essence, that no matter what the challenge is, you know that you're always connected to your heart, connected to your loved ones. And even though maybe sometimes you feel blocked or feel there's no connection there, you're always connected with loving energies. So, let go of that old sense of yourself 
right? That thought it couldn't happen or the connections weren't there or it wasn't the time, right? You're moving into a whole new appreciation of yourself, of others, of your path in a much more peaceful environment. This is a peaceful phase for you, Aries, entering something more fulfilling with a calmer energy and, and more stability and more mental stability, much more depth and understanding in your bonds with others, if in your desires, your dreams, your wishes, this is a significant growth period. And it's almost like you're ready, you're ready now to manifest. Maybe there were people that were blocking you or emotions that were blocking you, thinking that, you know, you weren't at the right place or not doing the right thing or not doing enough. Here you are, switching, switching your point of view with the hangman. I feel like you've been feeling stuck, stuck in the same sort of toxic situation. Or not toxic, doesn't have to be toxic, but maybe it's with the Sagittarius, Knight of Wands. Sorry, just putting this card. These cards are sticky. You're, it's almost like waiting your turn. Hmm. Waiting your turn. Waiting your turn. I don't know, I'm hearing that. Um, waiting your turn, waiting to make a decision, waiting to speak, waiting for your turn to shine. With the hangman here, you are seeing a different perspective, right? And I feel like you're understanding not to push, not to push that same narrative, that same old, same old that you've been trying to make happen or make okay. And I think it's time to pause and sort of view it as a chance to assess or reassess or evaluate where you stand on your path, your life path, your soul path, your love path, or your career path, right? It can be anything. Evaluate where you are because it's all new coming in with the hangman. Something new is coming in in your family. Um, something maybe more balanced. And it's time maybe to let some fresh air in so you can establish what is important for you. I think that this is going to be different than what you expected. Let's see. Yeah. You feel betrayed or you feel like it's constantly... It's constant betrayal, but look, you have these two knights, Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. This is a moment where you realize that things might have to be done differently. Two, two knights. It's almost like these two knights are fighting for victory. Maybe it's in your mind. You have the Knight of Swords, assertive, direct, a little impatient, right? But daring and focused on what there has to be done. Ambitious, yet maybe a little obs obsessive by certain ideas, right? But that strong, strong wish to manifest, that strong wish to make things happen. Powerful, powerful energy here, full of energy, but sometimes me needs to be a little balanced with to be able or at least to be able to push into proper and actual realization of something, taking responsibility. Now, the Knight of Swords doesn't really care what people think, right? It's sheer ambition. 
sheer strength, sheer determination to succeed no matter what, or to be right no matter what, to be the person no matter what that knows that's in the knowledge. And then you have the Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Wands is more about passion and inspiration. And maybe acts first before thinking, right? And, and, and just a little more impulsive, passionate, emotional, as opposed to the Knight of Swords, which is facts first. And I think that those dual energies are in your mind. You want everything to be done yesterday. You want to rush. You want things to be good. But you it's almost like you want it on a click of a finger, by magic, by wish, to put things back to normal without much of a clear plan of attack, right? Wait. Wait. Take your time, right? These are all impulsive energies. While you have the star, you're healing, believe in yourself, assess, and you have the hangman, wait. Take a moment. Take a moment to reassess what's going on, the people around you, the situation, whatever it is. Yes. Wait. You have the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Something is reaching an end. Something is done. Whether it's a job, whether it's a relationship, whether it is um, a family situation, a friendship, something is there that you don't trust. And even if you're not seeing eye to eye with that person or with that decision or in that job situation, still, it's important to stand your ground and understand what's going on and take your time to assess the situation to be able to make a decision, right? I feel like there's a lot of impulsivity wanting things to be done, be over, and that's it, right? Without really assessing completely why it became like that. <clears throat> All right, let's see if there are a few more cards. Page of Pentacles, there are a lot of cards that came out. Page of Pentacles, there's money coming in. Within a relationship, within a job or a career situation that you really, really love. You're, you're comfortable financially or you're becoming comfortable with your choices because you're getting answers. Because you're getting out of that confusion, that fogginess or no answers, the no dialogue, um, not trusting people, or maybe people are not giving you the real picture, or you feel you're not getting the right answers, right? You want to um, be able to have a clear picture, to be able maybe to make a decision, whether it be in a relationship or in a job. Ace of Cups, there's something new there. There's a decision on a new, hmm, is there a new relationship, Aries, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, there you are with a new idea or a younger person. Um, there's a new dynamic there. Once you get your answers, once you find that clarity, you're becoming comfortable with who you with where you stand, with who you are. Um, it's almost like you're a new person, refreshed, refreshed and ready to take on your, your new path. You have the Ten of Swords. There's something ending there with, with uh, again, it can be in a job, it can be a family situation, a friendship, a relationship, but there's new love coming in, new emotions coming in, Aries. Um, it can be also a new project, a new creative project with this Page of Swords because there's intention there, there are ideas there, 
there's a little impulsiveness on a new project, maybe idea or a new person, a new person coming into your life, which you're starting to get a little excited about. Let's see. Let's see, Aries, February 2024. Why is the Ace of Cups here? I usually don't do that, but once in a while. Why is the Ace of Cups here for Aries? Yes. Oh, Aries. Pa oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. Is there a new passion coming in? Wow. Well, there you go. There's the answer. There's, there's a person there. Now, it can be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or another earth sign. Aries, Leo, Sag, I mean, fire sign. Um, I don't know, but it seems like it's giving you a whole new dynamic here. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that. It, it seems like there's, uh, there's an exciting new relationship here. Oh, I have a lot of cards. Okay. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Wow. There's a whole new journey here. There's a whole new journey. You might have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn within your, uh, your job or your life or whatever this is. It's a little, that's sort of protecting themselves, uh, wanting to go on their own journey. And you are, you are really excited about this new relationship. Very interesting. Very interesting. Um, this Taurus Virgo Capricorn is going their own way, but they want to protect their own way. They want to protect their own vision. A bit of stubbornness there. Um, not very happy, but really keeping their pentacles to themselves. And it feels like you're going on a whole new adventure there, Aries. Um, beautiful new love adventure. And if it's not love, but it certainly feels like love, maybe you're meeting someone, right? Um, but it, it feels like it, it's all of a sudden this this passion with this with the devil here where you're sort of attached to a certain way uh to connect with people and um but it's permitting yourself or at least with this person let's see if we can pull some more cards on this uh again on this on this devil this passionate love affair is this a love affair aries Wow. Yes. Moving forward on that. Moving forward on that with the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune is, you know, that whole new dynamic, refreshed new dynamic, because it takes you out of that situation where you probably have been blocked for a while over and over and over trying to figure, figure things out. The lovers is all about honesty, sincerity, and bringing back your enthusiasm with people you really connect with, with people you really have affinities. It can be professional affinities. It can be um, new uh, relationship dynamics. But it's a beautiful turn, positive turn, in a career, in a relationship, in your path. And, and it feels like you're very clear on your choice. Very clear on your choice here with the Wheel of Fortune. And this choice, whether it be this new person in your life or this new path you're finding, this new community, this new job or this new project, but it feels like a new person that's giving you a beautiful new sense of trust and confidence and love around you with the star and that with that wheel of fortune for me whole new dynamic and quick quick sort of like that move movement forward in a relationship and that is bringing back luck 
synchronicities. A really, really good period of luck. Changing, changing, the changing, it's almost like the changing of the guards. Wow, I don't know why I'm saying that. It's really a phase, an ascendant phase, renewal, positive, positive energy, and quickly a beautiful evolution in something very loving, very giving, but also growth. It can be a, a promotion. It can be uh, finally finding that person. It can be moving forward with a person we just connected with, and it finally feels like really comfortable and loving. This is a wonderful, wonderful uh, moment to celebrate here. And if that's your wish, Aries, to meet that person that you trust, that you love on an equal give and take, on an equal basis, here it is. All right, let's see if there's one last message for the road, Aries weekly money and career oh there is a magic word i forgot to uh, mention that in the beginning of the uh reading uh be on the here out if you're still watching thank you thank you so much for still being here thank you to all um if you're still watching be on the here out for the magic word at the end of this reading, if you're interested in potentially putting your name on the list for a free reading, all you have to do is put the magic word down below in the comment section and be subscribed. I will be pulling one name out of the subscribers list uh, and I will giving, be giving the name in the last live of the uh, month of January, all lives are always on Sundays, 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. All right, let's see what we have here. King of Cups, yeah, moving forward. <clears throat> but also stabilizing your emotions, filtering your emotions, feeling feeling balanced emotionally. You're happy. You're happy where you stand with your choices, who you are, whatever your choices are. This is bringing you back to a beautiful place of comfort, emotional comfort and love. Queen of Swords, speaking your mind. You are making things right just right this is no bs anymore you 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 said whatever you had to say or you're doing whatever you have to do you want to know the truth and um that is sort of comforting and and you're standing very comfortably in your emotions and your choices with this king of cups Three of Swords, yeah, there's the end of something for sure. The end of something, but the beginning of a new relationship. <coughs> and the Two of Wands. So, you know it's the beginning of something. You know something new is, is brewing. You're choosing, you're figuring out. Um, what's it going to be? Should I stay? Should I go? Should I stay with this person or should I go? Or should I uh, move or not? Should I shift careers or not? Should I take that job or not? Should I get married? Should I stay, leave, right? All that. It feels like whatever it is you're leaving behind is really opening up to a loving, loving energy, whatever it is, whether it's a, a new, beautiful job with the right community, with the right people, really feeling comfortable and excited uh, with what you're creating, with what you're working on, or whether it is a beautiful new relationship, finding that person that really understands you, where you really feel comfortable. This is for you. This is your um, comfort zone, finding your comfort zone with that person, being able to confide to uh, be there for them or them there for you and 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 the dialogue is there but also the truth you there's no with the lovers there's no filter you are you know you get what you get or it's it's really the real you 
Aries appearing all of a sudden in this beautiful new energy. Wow. <coughs> Sorry, let's grab a little drink. All right, so, well, there you go. I think the magic word is wish or love. Grab whatever word you wish, whatever word you love. You can put wish or love or both words down below in the comment section. Make sure you're subscribed and I will give the name next week, I guess, next Sunday. Um, thank you so much for watching, Aries. Thank you to each and every one for sharing your energies, for pushing and supporting this channel. Thank you, Aries, from the bottom of my heart. Take care. Bye-bye.